All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about the Art Beauty Mask and the Cream Mask. I hope I haven't already scared you away, but today is my first impression and review. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so first impression, here it goes. I am fresh faced. I have not done a video like this before. No makeup, just washed my face with the Orange Blossom face wash and patted dry. I have nothing else, no makeup. You can see I'm kind of shiny here. <laughs> nothing on uh, my face at all. So what we're gonna do is um, look at these two products and share my first impression with you guys. I'm sure I'm gonna look gorgeous here with these masks on. But I bought, actually a few months ago, I don't know if you remember, the promo for the month, uh, if you spend a certain amount of PV, you got the free beauty mask. And um, these are called Art Beauty Mask Soothing Facial Mask with Orchid Petals and Essential Oils. And it has Mary Young's signature on the side. So there it is, isn't that pretty? And it has, let's see what kind of ingredients are in it. There is Young Living Stress Away, Copaiba, cedarwood, vanilla, okatea, and lavender. And it says it's designed to soothe your skin and leave it feeling healthier and more radiant. The exotic blend of orchid petals and essential oils help nourish stressed areas and promote a more youthful appearance, suitable for all skin types. So we're gonna try this. Um, my friend actually went to a class and learned about Young Living's Beauty School. Now I haven't been to Young Living's Beauty School, but what she said uh, they recommended was doing the art cream mask first and then put this on top so you get like extra benefits and it really helps this cream mask soak into your skin. It says, uh, this is a mask that blends pure essential oils and spa quality botanicals that help restore the look of youthful skin. An exclusive blend of essential oils to moisturize and nourish your skin, leaving it visibly more radiant. There's also aloe vera, vitamin E, green tea to help soothe and protect. Where are the ingredients? Oh, wow. Okay, so here they are. Let's see what we can see in here. Oh, oat kernel extract, vetiver, Roman chamomile, elangulang, geranium, vanilla, Okatea, jasmine, coconut, fruit extract, cucumber fruit extract. When you buy the beauty masks, you get eight of them in a box. Here it is. It's very fanciful, looks very expensive, and then it's gold and has the essential oil drop on the top. All right, and then this is what it looks like. It looks like a very thick cream. And I am just going to scoop some out here. It's pretty thick. And I'm gonna use the viewfinder thing over here. Yeah, it feels like a really thick cream. And just kind of put this on. This is fun. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing enough or not enough. Those of you who have been to beauty school or have done this mask, please feel free to comment and let me know if I'm doing this wrong. Wow, it smells really, really fruity in a good way. All right, what do you think? I should have brought a towel to dry my hands. Maybe I'll just rub that into my hands. I don't wanna waste any of this stuff. Ooh, it smells so good. I can't even really describe it. I guess I listed the essential oils so you can kind of get an idea of what is in there. Soothing facial mask, and it has orchids on the front. Okay, I'm opening it up and it is like soaking wet. I don't know if you can see. I feel like it's gonna drip all over the place. And it's got a plastic paper coating, it feels like on one side, and then the paper on the other side. Are you ready? Ooh. <laughs> I feel like I should be in a scary movie or something. All right, people. You know I love you YouTubers if I'm doing this on camera. I would not go out in public like this ever. All right. <laughs> Here we go. It is soaking wet. <laughs> and I'm going to push this on. Oh, I look so scary. <laughs> Have you guys tried this before? It doesn't really fit to my face. There we go. It's like a one size fits all mask. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is so creepy. <laughs> All right, 20 minutes of this. I don't even think I can drink a cup of coffee like this. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in 20 minutes. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I'm just touching base with you guys. It has been maybe five minutes, maybe six minutes, and take a look at my mask. Can you see what's going on here? I don't know if you can see. It's like not even sticking to my face, and then all the liquid is coming to the bottom and then like dripping on me. So every like couple seconds, oh goodness, I have to like 
smush it back to my face. I wonder if it'd be better if I like lay down or something, but I can't sit still for 20 minutes. Can you? <laughs> Anyways, I will catch up with you in a few more minutes. Okay, it has been 20 minutes and you may wonder where this little piece is. I actually just cut it and tucked it underneath. It was there for about 10 minutes and then it really got annoying that my bottom lip was hanging out. So I know these are like a one size fits all mask and so it's not going to necessarily fit your face perfectly. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe you have the perfect face, but I think it's kind of, you know, general lies so it can fit most face shapes. So as you can see, it's been 20 minutes. I keep having to like push down the sides and the bottom. Granted, I did not stay still. You saw my little um, update about five minutes in. I was making a cup of coffee and um, just unloaded, or not unloaded groceries, but put groceries away. I had a bench in the kitchen, so decided to put those away. Um, I wouldn't go outside like this. I can't believe I'm on YouTube like this. Ah! <laughs> but it's okay, it's in the name of beauty. I mean, I would never leave the house like this. So as you can see, this part literally kept coming off the whole time. I wonder if I had literally just relaxed while I did this, if maybe it would stay like right next to my face if I sat like this the whole time. I don't know. So here we go. This part stayed on completely. I never had to really push it back on, but um, I feel like it's like a big reveal. Like it's like <laughs> plastic surgery. Ooh, what does she look like? Ooh, I look like me. <laughs> All right, this smells really good, but honestly, the cream mask smells even better. I think it kind of like, it smells tutti frutti, like Hawaiian smelling, I don't know. And okay, so you can see, I still have this cream mask all over and it says to take a wet towel and to kind of wipe it off a little bit, but I'm gonna kind of like push it into my skin because I don't want to lose the moisture. I really feel like this cream mask, again, I'm kind of new to it, it's kind of like a really just thick moisturizer that you let sit on your skin, and that's why they say you could do it overnight. You could even do it maybe for just multiple hours and then take, you know, kind of rub it into your skin a little bit better. You could even just use your hands. That'd probably be better than I'm not wasting that cream in a towel. Well, I like that a lot better. Then I can kind of feel what's still left on my face. Now it is, um, it's gonna have to dry. It's pretty tacky to the touch still, but um, overall I like it. Um, if I had a preference of which mask I like more, I honestly would say the cream mask over the paper mask. I like this. I think the paper mask, the beauty mask, soothing fast, Soothing facial mask with or orchid petals and essential oils would be so fun on a girl's night. I think invite a bunch of girls over, make a pumpkin spice latte. I'm getting ready to make one in a minute. I can't wait to share the video with you guys. Um, but I think that those would be fun to do with friends. I think it's, it's silly. You feel silly. They feel really like luxurious, like you're doing something special for your skin, but you look like a goofball. That's totally my, my opinion. Um, but I, I like it. It's fun. I really like the cream mask a little bit more, I think because of the smell. I'm really partial to the scent. And, um, sorry, pardon me as I keep massaging this cream into my face here. I might... Okay, so you got to share in my first impression, my review, uh, with all of you. <laughs> and, um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I am really glad that I got the beauty masks for free one month with the promo. I really, really am because I don't think I ne necessarily would have gravitated towards buying these on my own just because the paper mask looks a little daunting. It's, it's a, it looks more complicated than it is. I mean, if you're debating whether or not to do it, then just go for it if you've never tried a paper mask. It's not so bad. I mean, I literally just had to push the chin part down a few, few times. I would totally do these with um, a bunch of girlfriends to get together and I think it'd be so fun to make like pumpkin spice lattes and do facials and watch a movie or something. I think that would be super, super fun to do with friends. It says to do it three or four times a week. I think this is something that I would maybe do on a Sunday night um, where I'm just doing something to pamper myself after I put the kids to bed, do a mask and um, maybe take a bath or read a book, something that's just for me. I think that's something that I would do once a week. And the cream mask, I like the combination, honestly, of the two together. So anyways, thank you for uh, coming along on this journey with me. I hope you got to laugh at my expense or with me because that was fun. And um, anyways, love sharing what I'm learning with you guys and uh, love being on this journey with you. So thanks for coming along. And um, if this is your first time watching my video, I'm sorry this is the first one you get to watch because <laughs> I've never done that before. But um, subscribe if you're not subscribed to see more videos on health and wellness as I explore this journey and share it with you guys. So um, thanks guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow.
or next week or whatever. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>